Thousands of people poured into the streets of Minneapolis on Wednesday for a second night of protest. Demonstrations that began peacefully but turned chaotic as police fired rubber bullets from a rooftop. Several buildings caught fire and authorities said one person was shot and killed by a store owner after a viral video showed a white police officer putting his knee on the neck of a black man who later died. The chaotic scenes followed the death of a 46-year-old George Floyd on Monday, which came after a white officer pinned the handcuffed father of two to the pavement outside of a market where employees had called police about a counterfeit bill. Four Minneapolis police officers have been fired over the incident. And joining us to discuss this is Joel Jones, a member of the Michigan House of Representatives. Thank you, Joel Jones, for joining us. Hey, brother, for having me on. on. Good to have you with us this um, night. Well, it's afternoon, it's evening there in Michigan. Now, this is the second day of protests which have become chaotic with burning of several buildings. Is this the right way to go? Uh, you know, it's, it's, not, it's really no right way to go. You can't really control what happens. You know, this is a very emotional time for people. And I think uh, throughout history, history, we've seen riots and protests happen. And at some point in time, you know, people will get... Um, to a tipping point. And so now what we're realizing is that, you know, people have been fed up, they've had enough, and this is how they're taking out some of their energy and emotions um, on their community. Is it the right way to go? I'm not sure, but um, it's really no way to control the reactions from the public after enduring um, such pain constantly over and over again. Now, the officer Derek Chabin in the eye of the storm has had several cases of assaulting minorities with 12 brutality complaints. How come he got away with all these cases in the past till Judge Floyd, who had to die in his hands again? So, I mean, with, with all this stuff happening, it's really no way to, to articulate why it keeps happening. Um, but of course, we have to realize, you know, we have a president now who, uh, even when we think back to the, the exonerated five that happened in, in New York when the, the young men were accused of raping um, the white woman that was in the park, I mean, they just picked five random um, black children to target and someone pulled that ad out, you know, 30 plus years ago to say that they need to be taken care of that That man today is our president and that's that's President Trump And so just to realize that that sheer targeting on the black community years ago and now that is our leader today um, in the USA, I mean not people's emotions people's beliefs their ideas is, is happening in real life in real time in front of us And so it's no way to say, you know, why it keeps happening um, but the, the culture it's just so present right now. Now, finally, Joel Jones, you, you are the youngest um, House of Rep member in Michigan. Do you think by way of legislature that there should be a declared emergency on racism right now in America, across America? Yeah, yeah I think we're constantly working on uh, legislation, working on policies and procedures to help combat this, you know, these issues that happen. But the, the biggest piece is the enforcement. And so, you know, there's plenty of laws right now that uh, we could use to um take care of you know police that abuse folk or anyone else that does for that matter but because the enforcement just hasn't been there for years i think that's the biggest piece and beyond legislation we really had to figure out how do we build community amongst blacks um not only you know here in the states but this, the same way we're having the conversation now and you're across the atlantic ocean um how, how do we really bridge the gap to say hey we're all one people we need to look out for each other we need to take care of one another because until we build community ourselves issues like this are probably going to continue to occur Member of Michigan House of Representative Joel Jones, thank you for joining us all the way in Michigan on the news tonight.